My name is Rosie, I'm PR coordinator at Squire and Partners and I'm at the department store sat behind Who Cares which is our installation for the London Festival of Architecture 2021. The process behind Who Cares has been really amazing. Uh, we started brainstorming back in February and March what our piece for this year's festival should be. We drew inspiration from prayer flags which come in different varieties, uh, notably Tibetan uh, and Japanese prayer flags that are used to celebrate Star Festival. So following the process of design and suspending who cares we're now in the phase where we can look at the interaction with the display uh, and it's been incredible the the number of people that are stopping and looking from little children to elderly men and women who are walking past and reading all of the messages of, of love and care and compassion um, it's been one of the one of the best parts of the process for me we wanted the project to be much more than just something that's static one moment everyone enjoys it for the month of June but what's happens at the end. I'm working with AWMA for the third year in a row, I think it is now, is, is really highly valuable. We are um, part of the creative community uh, here in Brixton, in Lambeth. Uh, the department store having such a distinctive uh, location right in the heart of the community here in Brixton, we wanted to always make sure our windows are active and communicating, attracting people as they go past. Uh, the, the community is inspired by ideas and thoughts. We work together with AWMA so that we would have an online conversation, a direct messaging system straight through the shop window uh, to create a changing interactive piece. But at the end of the project, um, everyone who's been involved is, can be invited to come back, collect some of the messages and plant those messages in Brixton Orchard, in the school meadows and enjoy the beauty of the words as they plant them, but also the new life that will spring up and surprise everybody with its nature's magic. My name is Diana Nabagerica and I'm the general manager of Brixton Village, made up of Granville Arcade and Market Row. It's a true honour actually to have this installation within the village. Having the London Festival of Architecture within an existing Grade 2 listed building is already quite an exciting concept. Um, but for the installation to be uh, founded in the roots of what kindness is and how we distribute kindness um, means a lot to Brixton Village. We have 150,000 people that visit the market each week and so to showcase something like this inside Resol, a brand that is um, exclusively about giving back to our community, yeah, means a lot to us. So for us here at Resol to have the care installation has been a massive opportunity and it's been a pleasure to have seeing all the people in Lambeth coming through the village and stopping and taking time to read the small messages that have been put together by the young children of Lambeth. Um, it's been good to see and great to see. To have the words give and take means such a lot to us at Resale here. The fact that we get shoes from the general public and distribute out to those people who need it the most is also in telling in terms of the work that we do. Resale is at the very heart of the village and also at the very heart of the community and representing what the sneaker culture means to us in terms of giving back and doing charitable acts. My name's Julia Nichols and I've collaborated with Squire and Partners and AWMA on Who Cares. I think what's really nice about the Who Cares collaboration is that it's given an outlook for local people and particularly young people to share and reflect on their own experiences of care and I think that kind of collective experience that uh, we feel as individuals as well as a community has been really important. And we've had some lovely uh, sort of digital information and sketches and as well as the kind of physical side through video and uh, digital questionnaires because we can't get to them physically. Um, I think we've had to be quite inventive. I think um, what's lovely, there's a collective response um, from the community. Over 750 people have given their, uh, their experiences to the installation, but there's a real sort of commonality um, of experience in terms of how kindness is so tied to care, people really appreciating the care that people have given you know, from family and friends, also from the NHS. 
I think the thing I'm most excited for about the care installation at POP is that we're finally working with AWMA. AWMA have been members of POP since the very beginning and we've never really been able to find the time to work together with them on it. I think between the three spots where a care is installed, you've got the, the public you know, on the street at the department store, and then in Resole, it's a little bit more hidden, you have to go into Brixton Village, and now at POP, it's actually it's in the greenhouse in POP Brixton. I think it just hits people that are coming to Brixton. You've got people sort of just walking by the street, you've got people that are walking through the village, and then you've got people that are sitting down and eating and drinking. And the greenhouse was the perfect place to install the care installation because of the seeded paper element. The fact that this is our grow space and those seed papers are potential um, plants is really exciting. Kind of interested to see what's in the seed paper. We don't know what's in the seed paper and if it's something edible, it's something that we can then bring along to the food traders and incorporate it into their dishes and somebody could be here in August and be sat next to the seed paper, be here in October and be planting it and then be here in December and be eating it, which is pretty unique. Lockdown has taught us so many different things, things that we, we really care for. And one of those things for us has been to really work back into the community and collaborate with local uh, architecture firms, Squire and Partners, again, for London Festival of Architecture. So this year we set out to get the schools involved again and also um, other people from the local community and beyond Brixton with their online submissions. It really, really was fascinating to, to read the submissions. Some really thoughtful, deep moments and some moments of real smiles and reflection. And we're really thankful to the, the people at Pop Brixton, the people at Brixton Village, Resol, uh, for making it happen.